This isn't your average keyboard. This is something that came straight from a fictional fantasy and became something more than reality. A passion turned into a spectacle for the worthy to see. This is the embodiment of Saber Altar, an anime portrayal of the legendary King Arthur in the Fate series. The sheer power that comes from this keyboard is beyond the realms of good or evil. This is a powerful yet unique keyboard, and it has been named Salter. Weighing in at just over 10 pounds, this beast of a keyboard comes in packing some pretty interesting specs. The Salter boasts its TK layout with a uniquely shaped bluish black aluminum top case and a massive copper bottom case. We also have the option of having a winky layout or a winkyless one as well. For mounting though, we have two options. The first being the age old top mount, allowing for a stiff and rigid mounting method, and the second being the o-wing mount, which allows for a bit of elasticity with the board. We also have a custom 1.6mm non-flex cut PCB in a red and white colorway connected to our daughter board with a JST cable. For plates, a red aluminum plate will come standard with the salter, but additionally PP will be offered as an extra add-on for those who prefer something other than alu. Finally, the salter has a front height of 18mm and a nice tiving angle of 7 degrees. Now the salter kit also includes a couple of extras as well. We get a custom themed carrying case, a metal card, and a custom saber themed F13 Artisan. The Salter is priced at $1300 and will be a 25 unit limited raffle. The raffle goes live on June 7th and ends on June 14th with a lead time of about 6 months. Now, this config right here boasts the alu plate with the o-ring mount and holds some MX blacks inside as well. Let's take a listen and see how well it sounds. Mixing how well the MX Blacks perform and how great the Alu config sounds without any foam, the Salter sounds absolutely powerful. If I had two words to describe how the Salter sounds, I'd say it would be clacky and solid. There were no inconsistencies with how each part of the keyboard sounds, and there's no audible resonance as well. The massive copper bottom also helps contribute to compressing the sound signature from the switches, which gives us that clacky appearance as well. In return, this config feels just as amazing as well. The O-ring mount feels both bouncy and responsive, and is overall very consistent throughout the board. The vibrations also feel extremely well contained with the O-ring config, and not as prominent as it typically would be with top mounting. Also nothing feels mushy, and everything is nicely nestled in place, so nothing gets moved around inside while typing. The typing experience is also extremely comfortable. When typing, my hands just flow with the keyboard and glide across the surface. It feels just as good as it sounds. This keyboard isn't all about how it sounds and feels though. Its aesthetics are something completely out of this world, and every detail, small or big, makes a huge impact on the overall theme of the Psalter. Before getting into the design of the keyboard though, we first need to know who exactly is Saber Altar. Originally known as the heroic King Arthur, Saber Altar represents a version of Saber, who became tainted by dark magical forces. These forces ended up transforming Saber into a darker, more ruthless version of herself, with a blackened armor, pale skin, and red eyes. She loses her sense for nobility and her original ideals, showing the theme of corruption and the torn struggle between the light and darkness of being a hero. Our top case shows the very same armor we see her wear to battle. This bluish black tinted armor scales lining the sides of the keyboard add a sense of layering to the board. Its curved nature also allows the keyboard to feel more rounded and elegant as well. 
The black lining on the back of the board also coincides with the lining of Saber's armor, adding a sort of armor trim to the keyboard. We also have a badge nestled right above the arrow key cluster, but this is no ordinary badge. This badge is Saber's visor, and not only does this give Saber a more menacing appearance, it also gives the Psalter a little piece of that menacing aura. Flipping over the Psalter, we now get to look at the massive copper bottom, and its beautiful sword weight nestled right in it. But this is not just any old sword, this is none other than the Holy Sword Excalibur, which was imbued with the attribute of evil when Saber became tainted. Additionally, on the inside of the board, we get a good look at Saber's full name. Artoria Pendragon Altar. One thing to note though is that this prototype bottom is a special one of one patinaed bottom. So the actual bottom will be a standard black copper bottom and not like the special colorful one. The Psalter is a keyboard like no other. It's a unique marvel of design that took a powerful fictional character and created an even more powerful iconic work of art. This is no fantasy. This is the version of Saber that was brought to reality. You now are the one to draw the line of good and evil. This is the Salter.